The phrase, all wound up, can describe someone in a state of agitation. How can you find inner peace in situations that want to get you all wound up? Well, here's an illustration that may help. Hey, first of all, welcome to Mornings with Bishop Robert. Thanks for joining me. This is the top spot on the internet for beverages with a bishop. My goal is to introduce people to the Jesus they never knew, then help them get to know him and his word personally and better. So if our time together today speaks to your heart, would you let me invite you to like and subscribe and then also share this video with a friend? Hey, it's easy for people to get all wound up. Something or, or someone upsets them, brings pain to their heart, and affects them emotionally. The specific emotion may be anger, frustration, or even disappointment. But the result is deep emotional tension. Personal attacks tend to make you feel totally isolated and alone, especially when the source of the attack is someone you care for or trust. Everyone has been there. Everyone understands this pain. Well, today's verse sets out a solid approach to making it through times like this. It says, a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Well, if you don't know how ropes are made, you might think that the kind of rope being described here is only a, a small three strands, three single strands. But if you examine the rope that I'm popping up in this image right now, or an actual three-stranded rope for that matter, you'll notice that each of the three major strands is actually composed of a large number of smaller individual strands. These smaller strands have actually been wound together first before they're brought together to form the three-stranded cord. So the multiple smaller strands are first tied off at the head and joined together. So they've got something that holds them in place as the initial tension is applied. All three strands of the final cord begin as bundles of smaller strands. Then, after being placed under tension, these three groups of smaller strands are twisted in a single direction. Well, for the purposes of this illustration, we'll say clockwise. Continued twisting and winding in the clockwise direction actually causes the individual strands to be wound together. This tension and twisting is applied at the far end of the rope being made, apart from where they've already been tied off together. Once the initial clockwise twisting has been completed, only then can the head of the rope on the other end be twisted to bring those three strands together. In order for the rope to be properly wound and have reliable strength, the twisting from the head must be done counterclockwise. It's this reverse twisting that binds the three cords together. And because this is done under tension, the fibers are bound together and friction actually holds them together in their final form. And that kind of rope is not quickly broken. Well, being joined together at the head is the critical first step. Jesus Christ is the head of the church. It's in him that we have to begin. It's in him we ought to be bound together. He, as our head, gathers us all, individual strands, and prepares us to be made one. Alone, we're weak. Alone, we're easily snapped and broken. He knows this. Until we face pressure and tension, many of, it, many of us find it easier to remain alone. And he knows that, too. So the pressure's added. The tension's established. Life begins to, to twist us and turn us. Work situations, health challenges, painful relationships, and, well, a myriad of other things keep the pressure constant. The road of life throws us twists and turns, sometimes even hairpin turns and reversals. And though much of what we endure seems meaningless, we have the promise that God works 
all things together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purposes. So the twisting continues and we become bound to those closest to us. And then at the proper time, God knows that life's twisting has worked all it can work in us for the time being. We've been pressed into those around us, our closest family and friends. Now you'd think that is where the pressure would back off a bit, right? <laughs> ah, if only. When life has finished all its preparation, God steps in more directly. And like the rope maker, he begins twisting from the other end of the rope. <laughs> and it's then that the three strands that were formed by the initial twisting are themselves wound and bound. In the first instance, we're bound close to one another. In this instance, we're bound closer to God as he brings what began as small, insignificant, weak, and distinct and makes it into a singular unity. Multiple strands, twisted first one way and then another, become inextricably bound together in a composite entity where each strand benefits from the other. God knows how to create unity in the midst of diversity. God knows that our greatest strength is as we are bound to him and bound to one another. God knows we'll never be as strong alone as we can be standing together. And God knows that it's our diversity, deliberately wound in unity, that's what delivers our greatest strength. God knows. So he winds and binds. He brings us together with tension and pressure and adversity, as well as with affliction, attraction, and love. Each of the separate strands are wound together so they can strengthen one another, so that eventually they'll strengthen the whole. We're bound and wound, bound and wound, so that we can serve well. God works all things together in us and for us to our good, for his purposes, for his ultimate glory. See, God knows we'll need his strength, like a cord of three strands, to succeed in all he's called us to do. So he forms us and shapes us, forming himself in us by the pressure and the tension, binding us to him. We have come to the end of our time again, friends. Before you go, could I ask you, please help me introduce people to the Jesus they never knew and help them get to know him and his word personally and better. Please like this video to help more people see it. Click follow and subscribe and the notification button so we can get together every day. And finally, please share this video with a friend. Thanks for being part of the team and helping share the love of Christ all over the world.